What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video today. And in this video, we are at Cedar Rapids Eastern Iowa Airport for the second airport update for the month of September, 2024. Frontier officially makes its debut for Cedar Rapids in this series. And we do have a couple other changes going on around the airport along with one cool aircraft we'll take a look at towards the end of the update. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get started down here at gate number one with the Frontier debut. Today they are using the A321, which I've noticed quite frequently on the schedule, so that's nice to see. Um, not the only airport that does get the upgraded uh, service from the 320s that they typically send in, or the 320neos. This aircraft arrived ride in from Denver as flight 4386, quite the high flight number there. This arrived in at 6.43 p.m., had to be scheduled 7.17 p.m. arrival. And moving right next to that, we have an American Eagle Ember 175 parked here at gate 2. This came in from Phoenix Sky Harbor as flight 3979, operated by Envoy Air. And this arrived in at 11.58 p.m. ahead of a scheduled 11.59 p.m. arrival. And then we have one returning service from the last update. There's a couple others in here, of course, but this is the one, the first one we'll see here returning from the last update. We have this American A319 with Sharklets coming in from DFW today as flight 2394. This arrived in at 10.58 p.m. ahead of a scheduled 10.46 p.m. arrival. So nice to see the 319S making a frequent appearance here in eastern Iowa. And we'll swing on over to the other side for a look at this Delta Connection number 175, which is parking on the south end of the terminal this time and not on the north side like it was in the last update. This is parked at gate 6, and this came in from Minneapolis as flight 3629, operated by Sky West, and it arrived in at 10.38 p.m. at a be scheduled 10.56 p.m. arrival. We move into our quick United section here, just one aircraft on this side, and there's another one on the other side, which we'll take a look at shortly. We have this United 737-800 wearing the older Continental Globe livery, and this arrived in as flight 2296 from Chicago O'Hare. At 9.52 p.m., delayed from a 9.26 p.m. scheduled arrival, so delayed by 26 minutes for this aircraft. And then swinging on over to the other side, where we've got a nice look at mainline aircraft over here. Awesome setup, and right in this area would be construction, of course. I'm not that detailed with the construction, and it's kind of hard to accurately represent that since construction is very dynamic, and that will change on a dime rather quickly. But over here we have the 737-800 for Delta Airlines parked at gate 9. And this arrived in from Atlanta as flight 2626 at 8.30 p.m. Had to be scheduled 8.51 p.m. arrival. And then our last aircraft at the terminal, we have a United A319, which is up here at gate 7 today. And this arrived in from Chicago as well as flight 1403. And this arrived in at 10.06 a.m. ahead of a scheduled 10.33 a.m. arrival. And then one last aircraft as we swing it around towards the front of this setup. We have Kalita Charters here with a 737-400. Cedar Rapids gets these on a fairly re frequent basis from my time spending on Flight Radar 24 and checking their schedule. Uh, they usually get the ones that have the DHL. I've seen the like the DHL livery ones come in, and I've seen like the hybrid uh, DHL Kalita Charters. I've seen that one on there as well. And they also have like a newer livery for Kalita Charters. This is the older livery that Jim and I did last year, if I remember right, 2023. So this is an older plane, but they are still hanging around and going to replace the 727s, unfortunately. I think they have actually retired the last one now. I've not seen them flying around, and the only one that I know of that's left for the 727s would be the IFL Group 1, which I did get to see in Kansas City um, last this past summer. And speaking of Kansas City, this is where this aircraft came in as flight 433, and this arrived in at 9.56 p.m., delayed from a 9.55 p.m. scheduled arrivals, so only behind by one minute. And full disclosure, this obviously went taxi by the passenger terminal IRL, at least under certain circumstances, depending on the uh, runway flow that they're using. So, But again, I don't have much space, and I just put it here just so that there is something, something else for us to look at in these updates. And Kalita Charters, in this case, is the lucky example of that. And there we go. Nice quick airport update for today. Cedar Rapids, the second update for September. Hoping to get some regular construction updates going at some point uh, for the series. I don't have anything in the area where I could easily obtain that info, but I am checking news sources and any other sources that I can for the latest updates on construction. 
So hopefully I'll be able to update this diorama a little bit in the future to represent the latest status of the construction based on how far they're going with building that extension piece and then readjusting the gates so that they can fit that in there and moving planes around and all that fun stuff. So as of right now, this is just, again, latest based off of the latest satellite imagery that I could find on Google Earth, and that will change as we move into the future. So with that being said, that is the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.